angry guy here, and women are broken beyond all repair, and it's best men avoid them. Women are broken beyond all repair, and it's best men avoid them. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the first video. Women who dress provocatively or modestly? Absolutely not. I think men want women who dress modestly because they look for a girl who respects herself and that wouldn't put herself out there in a disrespectful way. And I don't mean that in any type of disrespectful way against women. I think a woman should dress however the fuck she wants to dress. Fuck whatever a man says. But I think if I was a man and looking from a man's perspective, they're looking for a woman who dressed more in a conservative way. And you? An outfit is never the answer. But I feel like if you want a traditional man, be a traditional woman. Amen. Exactly. A lot of women who like, you know, go out, show their ass, all that shit. If you want a traditional man, you have to be a traditional woman. Are you looking for a traditional man? I'm not looking for nobody. I'm, I, I got a mission and that's music. I'm a musician artist, so that's my mission in life. I'm not looking for nobody, no, no, no love. Now, let me make this very clear. She's lying. She's lying to herself. You can see that this woman is extraordinarily broken. Both of these women are quite interesting because they are. They clearly know what a man is looking for. They clearly know that any man that has any decency, that has any, that has any any self respect, cannot be with a woman. Who has no respect for herself. A respectable man cannot be with a woman who is not respectable. It's, it's, it's true. That's why a traditional man wants a traditional woman. And when we talk about traditional, we're not even talking about the extremities of, you know, 1920s traditionalism where the woman only wore, stayed in the house all the time in, and she never had a job. There are many arrangements today where a lot of where women have a job. The man works, the woman works, but he handles his roles because his money is his, his money is their money and her money is her money. However, she understands her role in the house. She understands that it's her, her job to cook. It's her job to clean. It's her job to take care of the children. And she balances all of those things with respect to the man because the relationship is not equal. Her money is her money and at the end of the day irregardless of money it's still it's still the man's job to protect her so it's not just the fact that he's providing but he's also a protector and that's a big big part of it these women know exactly what's up but the thing is as you can see after feminism they can't change they can't go back and they, um, and these are the same girls they'll be crying on social media i guarantee you I guarantee you, it could be a year from now, it could be a few months from now, it could be a few weeks from now, or it could be a, some, a couple of years from now, some years from now. But they will be there on social media crying eventually that they just want a good man, they just want a kind man, and you have to understand that you're not going to find that kind of guy on the streets. And then after the kind of life you've lived, you know, a good man wants a good woman. A good man doesn't want a woman that's not involved in good things. And they know it. You can see this. They ex they know exactly what a man wants. These women know exactly what a man wants. In fact, one of them even said, literally, if she was a man, this is what she would be looking for. But because she's a woman, women should do whatever they want to do. But don't. Ex but a man shouldn't be looking for women like them. Essentially, think about that. What she's literally saying is that a man should not be looking for women like them. However, a man shouldn't be looking for women like them. However, at the same time, you know, they're going to do whatever they want to do. So they know exactly, they know that, that what they're doing is not going to be compatible with finding a good man. The one on the left, she's, you can see that she is broken. She is completely broken. She has no hopes for the future, and she has completely sipped the feminist Kool-Aid. She knows that, she knows that she is not a traditional woman. She knows that she, that is, her lifestyle is not compatible, and she's given up on that dream. So she's going to go completely down. She's basically embraced She's embraced her destiny. To, 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 and, of course, she'll cry over it later on. But at her age, and she does not look that old, but at her age, she's already at that point. 
where there's where she feels like there's no going back because she's embraced she's embr embraced the whole boss babe thing. I'm gonna be a billionaire, trillionaire, all of that stuff. I could do it on my own. I'm I miss independent. She's embraced it. And I, the, the sad thing is that the sad thing is that it's that this comes back and it has a terrible reflection on all of society. It has a terrible reflection on all of society because everyone ends up paying the price for it when these women basically get furious and these women basically go back to the streets and now they're like, oh, where have all the good men gone? You know, this is this is where I'm at right now at my age. I'm alone. I'm single. I have no one that will relate to me. I have no one that wants to be with me. And you say to yourself, well, sweetie, you did this to yourself. By the way, guys. If you're enjoying my content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications and never miss another video again. It's so sad. And they chose this path for themselves. They made the decision that they wanted to live this life. They wanted to be about that life. They chose the streets. And then they're not going they won't be able to live with the consequences because it gets cold on those streets and the older you get, the more difficult it is to survive on those streets. I, guys, look at what happened to Tia, Tia Mari. I think that's that's who it happened to. I don't think it was Tamara. I think it was Tia. She left her husband. Her husband was a very good man. She said it. She got bored in her marriage. She left because she was bored. She cannot find, she's not going to find a guy better than this guy ever. She will never find another guy better than this guy. And she left him just because she got bored and she felt that there was something better for her in the streets and now she's all over television crying her eyes out and she is so because of her ego she can never take accountability and say you know what i did this and i wasn't going getting the emotional highs and lows that i usually got i was in a stable boring marriage and i wasn't happy because I wasn't excited anymore. I wasn't getting the same rush that I was that I got when I was young. They have to be given proper guidance because if they're not, they start going hanging around with bit with, with these millionaires and these wealthy guys and they start having these crazy experiences that that don't align with reality because they don't comprehend that men will pay, you know, they'll have they'll bring these women around and they'll, you know, They'll be intimate with them, and they get these women will get you know they'll get access to 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 fancy fancy restaurants, five star restaurants. They'll go out and spend time with celebrities. They'll get all of these things for free, purses, everything. They'll but you know it's what they'll they'll, they'll you know get together with this rapper, and he'll he's like it's whatever you like, sweetie. Where where your expectations are now outside of the, the actual realm of reality of how how life actually exists in, in the real world. The average man doesn't have this kind of money. Normal people don't live like this. People who are wealthy and realistic, for example, you have people who are millionaires. There's a lot of people who are millionaires. They don't live like these other people. A lot of these people, these rappers and celebrities, they spend all their money on nonsense, fast cars, you know, expensive parties. If you take your money, you fold it in half, put half for savings, fold it again, take 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 the quarter, take quarter, take that quarter, put that in investments, and all you and and what you let have left over is not enough to live off. You are not rich. Some of y'all are gonna say you're insane. No, I'm not. I'm real. I'm being realistic. Okay, that's the, that's this is a it's a crazy man's mindset. This is how people get into so much finance, so much financial trouble. Because if you cannot live off a quarter of your earnings, then you are not a, you are not rich. You are not rich. Okay. Men have to wake up and stop giving away their value and their worth. These women, these women have such unrealistic expectations that it sets them up for failure later on in life. And you know they get into the, they get married like Tia she got she got married and she was in a stable relationship but she was used to a fast life she was used to life on the streets and and on the streets life goes by quickly you're constantly hanging out constantly going to a party constantly going to, hanging out with this dude and that dude and that dude it's a fast life 
So you can't transition from that life. You can't transition from the streets to a to, to a house life. It doesn't work. You know, if she's if she's been on the streets, she'll always be the streets will always be a part of her. The streets will always be a part of her, and they'll always be calling out to her. They were calling out to Tia. And she 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 threw away her she threw away her relationship. She broke up her family because she could not let go off the streets. And she's sitting there crying, crying her eyes out. But there's nothing she can do about it because that's the decision that she made. She chose the streets and she's going to have to live with that decision. I want to know your thoughts, guys. What do you think regarding this? Women are broken beyond all repair and it's best men avoid them. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWAM and walking away. And cheers.